Welcome back to another Schema Scalper video. In this video, we're just going to do a quick review of the trade I took today. The trade was in crude oil. Um, this is a three minute chart. This is where I do my entries. And as you can see, I have my CVD, I have um, volume profile, and I have VWAP. That's the three indicators that I'm using to trade. Um, also, I use price action, but in a different way than a lot of other people use it. Um, so let's just get into the trade. So if you're watching my video this morning where I do my prep, let me actually change this. I don't usually use these two. The video where I was doing my prep, you would have noticed that um, I actually had a prep prepared for this. So it was like if you break a uh, value area low um, and we're outside this band, we're going to see lower prices, but I didn't exactly tell you the target that I was looking for just because that's something that I keep kind of near to my chest. Okay, so we're just going to go over the entry and obviously I got stopped out. So we're going to go over what I did well, what I did wrong um, and how I can improve from this. There's a single event, so I'm not taking it um, all too hard, but if it happens over and over and there's a reoccurring event, like being stopped out like this and then market going in my direction i'll maybe look in the future to either increase my stops or just try and enter a bit later into the trend okay so what we see here is well let me just use this this is going to be easy for you right there that's virgin value area low and you'll see it from my market preps as well so I took an entry here because the underlying um, narrative of, let me actually delete all of these things and I can just explain to you my thought process. I won't delete that, won't delete that and I will keep this last one on. So my underlying thought was, okay, up here we have, um, oh gosh. We have divergence on the highs, so that usually calls for low prices. We get the low prices, and then we get no divergence on the lows yet. No divergence on the lows yet. No divergence on the lows, but we do get divergence on the highs again. And right here, these kind of markings that I put here. These are um, single candle divergences. Um, I, I don't use this often and I'm kind of new to this. But it's if, if I hover over the one that I'm marking, you'll see this is like a green candle with a long tail. This is a red candle with a long tail. So those are completely different. So to me, that's an important tell that, okay, there's some, someone or something in the market that is going for either putting in their position and kicking other people off or they are just stepping back from their positions so that means there's big activity or to me at least there's big activity that's how I read it then we've got a similar thing here and it hits VWAP so now I know okay it hits VWAP we add virgin value area low if it does it again with a DVA with a CVA CVD, sorry, DVA, all these acronyms, with a CVA, CVD, oh my god, with CVD, if it has divergence on the highs, I can take shorts after it broke this level, so it breaks the level, I get divergence on the highs, right there, I took a short, that was a bit too early, because I thought maybe price is not going to come up to VWAP, which is something I should actually work on, just taking trades at VWAP um, and not actually like near VWAP like I did over here. So that was a trade I shouldn't have taken. But up here, this is the trade that I should have. And I think it's pretty good entry. My idea was uh, sort of correct. But yeah, my targeting was also pretty well. I just unfortunately got stopped out. The market didn't want to move in that direction. I was maybe too early. And I got, let me actually show you the 
int as well uh settings let's do execution labels price okay so i got in at 7430 so that's right there so basically on the high of that candle i got in 7430 and i tried tried go for one to six and then another so my first entry was a one contract or one to two point eight and then second entry was two contracts with a smaller stop which means i put on the similar amount of risk with a much larger target the one to six target and then i realized okay we're breaking value area value virgin value area low again on the upside we're holding inside a view app pushing up but now there was a dva div oh gosh why is this thing moving let me just lock this in 